This place first opened way back in 1957. We are inside legendary Lambeau Field here in Green Bay. We all know this community lives for its Packers, and the green and gold came out of the tunnel a short time ago, and it was loud. We are ready for football. So are they as the Packers get set to match up with the Pittsburgh Steelers. as he gets set to lead this Green Bay Packer offense. Rodgers now in his 17th season in there, who will go down as one of the all-time great quarterbacks. Can make every throw from every angle with terrific mobility, and he knows how to win games. Always in contention for a championship. Slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. They'll run it with Jones. And this will be a Packers first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. Now it's Rodgers. Caught on the right side by Jones. Yes. Now Rodgers. Got a man, it's Tunyon. And he's here. Long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, do I have that dagger play? Do I have that play? On play action, it's Rodgers. They'll roll him out right. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez Scantling. And they're going to have themselves another first down. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Here's Rodgers. Now he's got it. Touchdown! Aaron Jones, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Packers have taken the early lead. See, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate and oftentimes appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, in six. Here's Roethlisberger. It's brought in by Harris. Evades the tackler and now some space. And yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Harris going to get it again on second down. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Last in the league in rushing as a team last year were the Steelers. They're expecting Harris to kickstart their running game. Just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. From the red zone now, here's Roethlisberger on first down. That's complete to his tight end, Fryer Muth. To throw again on second down. Roethlisberger hitting Juju on the slant. And in for the Steelers' touchdown. Juju Smith-Schuster, his second touchdown on the season. Be angry as well. Could not get off the field. Well-executed offensive drive. No matter what the defense tried, they couldn't stop them. To throw, it's Rodgers. Slant to Adams. And he's taken down, but able to realize he had nothing. Just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Now Rodgers. Drops it to Jones in the flat. And he'll only get this to about the 44 as they stop him short of the line to gain. So because when you come out of the gate this strong, that means that you have planned for it and you like the results that you're getting. So I wouldn't have any doubt. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. That ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. Now Roethlisberger. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies and it's intercepted. 
picked off by Darnell Savage. And now off to the races, down the right Ooh, side. Wow. And into the end zone, it's a pick six and up for touchdown. Third down, passing down, they throw the extra defensive back in there for nickel package and work down. And it's not anything that you would think is just great strategy. It's just that when you have five defensive backs on the field and an obvious passing down, it's a lot tougher to complete a pass. And on that play, they completed it just to yeah, Might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here? Pushing through the contact. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. That went into the hands of his tailback, Samuels. And six. Roethlisberger will throw. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Rashawn Gary drops him for a loss. Well, the pass rush has been a real strength of late. They know how to get after the quarterback. Absolutely. Four sacks last week. That's their first one here. Anything in particular you see? Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And able to break one tackle, but then... They fake the give. Now Rodgers. They're able to find out. They'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> to throw is Rodgers. The left side completion to Jones. And it's a Packers touchdown. Aaron Jones. With his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. And he's having a nice little first half here, partner. It's a first. So we're at halftime here at Lambeau with the Packers taking the lead to the break. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Rodgers. And that's complete to Adams. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. On play action, Rodgers. This one complete to Tunyon underneath. On second down, Dillon. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard. They'll run it. Here's Dillon. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets Play action. Now it's Rodgers. Caught. Right side, it's Lewis. And the Packers are productive. Now Jones. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Aaron Jones, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Packers add on to their lead. So it was the passing game that got him down here. They turn to Harris to begin the drive. And he'll wind up with about six. It's just to settle down a little bit after they give up the touchdown. Again, it's Harris on second down. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. Now a look at Smith. Not sure exactly what happened, but he's still down. We'll check on his status when we get back. It's a nice space for him. On third down, here's Dillon. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now a play fake. Rodgers. This one complete to Tunyon underneath. Again, it's Dillon. And the ball is loose. Dillon lost it. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. They'll start on the ground with Harris. 44 yards. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he will be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the On play action. Now Rodgers. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick. And he will bring this down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. Each of the last two years, his first two years with the franchise. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Najee Harris 
His fourth touchdown on the year. Surprised by the last throw. You know, that type of throw with this type of a game, I'm going to be very careful about it. Maybe the only throw you make is maybe a toss to your halfback in this game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. Now, after that last running play, we've got an offensive lineman down on the field. Again, it's Jones. And he takes this up right near the 45. And two. Now a handoff to Dillon. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. A handoff to Harris to begin the drive. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. 69 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. Breathe a little easier, some room to operate as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. Now Roethlisberger. He finds his tight end Gentry. Seven yards. To think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Hey, good job, baby. Good job. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now. Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down. And hitting Juju on the slant. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. On first and 10, it's Roethlisberger. And that is incomplete. Last play. Second and 10 now, it's Roethlisberger. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. And for last week's performance, which was so good, he was named NFC Defensive Player of the Week. He got a lot of praise, and understandably so, from national media. Looking pretty good on that play, too. And I love what he told us this week before the game. He talked about how much time they spend working on pass rush moves. Again, now third and long. There's Roethlisberger. He's going to air one out. Touchdown! It's complete. Chase Claypool, his first touchdown on the year. He had the elbow reconstruction back in 2019, but he does not appear to have lost much at all. Put something together right here. Otherwise, they're in danger of doing the old snatching defeat from the jaws of victory. Rodgers throw taken in by Adams. They give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. Rodgers' throw is taken in by Jones. The football, so now you lose your keys as a defense. You dive for the running play, and they hit him over the top. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. This is Jones. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. Corners, no reason to lighten up now. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. And maybe do something different. Well, he's going to go for it all. Got a man open. It's Adams. Touchdown, Green Bay. Devontae Adams, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Packers are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. And that's certainly an important touchdown there and makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. The end zone, chunk plays, explosive plays. That will be the key to this drive. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Plays out. Here we go. It's Roethlisberger on fourth down. He's going to let it fly. And it's a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. The Packers looking to get out of here with a win as they take the knee. And with that kneel down at the end of the game, partner, 
they now get to three and one. This is a good football team we saw in this game. It is indeed getting to two games above 500, and I know early on, while they said they wanted to win every game, they thought they would be solid with a three and one start, and here they are. 